We're hoping that in, uh, the information that we're going to gain from doing this work is going to lead to um, several different initiatives. So one is um, we developed the long-term care facility component for the National Healthcare Safety Network, um, which became available in, in 2012. And um, uptake and adoption of that piece of the surveillance structure has been relatively modest, although has increased lately thanks to um, some initiatives from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. So we would like to add additional reporting components to that infrastructure. So currently, um, uh, nursing homes can report on urinary tract infections. Um, and some multi-drug resistant organisms and Clostridium difficile. So we would like to add additional pieces to that, but it's really hard to know what else to add when we don't understand what the epidemiology of infections is. Um, I think another piece is, uh, as was done with the publication in 1990, is kind of being able to shine a light and provide more information about the burden of infections in, in nursing homes and providing some data that's going to that fills a hole that currently exists um, and motivating people to be able to um, understand the need and what the potential benefits are engaging in some of the prevention activities um, that occur. And I think another piece is really understanding not only the total number, but understanding the types of infections that occur in nursing homes. So those um, prevention initiatives can be defined and developed that are data-based. And hopefully over time, if this work is replicated uh, in a few years from now, we could perhaps see that there might be some decline in the, in the burden of infections um, and tie that back to many of the prevention initiatives.